Hey guys, today I have a super exciting video for you and this is going to be my unboxing of the Louis Vuitton Kirigami Pouchette. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video guys. All of my links are right here, so go check all of those out. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, drop me a comment down below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we better get into this video. Okay, so this set of bags is a half birthday present. It's early, um, it's July. I ordered these the other day. Um, yeah, and they came through yesterday, so I'm gonna open them for you. Um, this is why I'm opening them now, is because I'm paying for part of them. Uh, so yeah, it came in this box. It says Louis Vuitton, I've already opened this box, but I haven't opened this one. Uh, so yeah, it just comes in this uh, brown cardboard box, as usual, it says Louis Vuitton on the box. <laughs> and then you get the lovely orange and blue box. I'm really, really excited to open this. So first of all, you get the gift receipt, the gift receipt, the receipt, the gift receipt, um, and all this jazz. It just says like, thank you for shopping with us. Uh, you get a gift receipt. You get a blank piece of paper, uh, exchanges and returns, leaflets, and then a sticker to return it so you get all of that and then you get the box and there's this little thing on here which i think holds the authenticity card i think oh no it's literally nothing it comes with an envelope which has nothing on it i thought that would be the authenticity card obviously not okay so time to open this baby i'm excited very excited i don't want to ruin the bow Okay, so off comes the piece of card, because there was nothing in there. And then off comes the ribbons. And then... Very exciting. Okay, so the box is obviously greatly manufactured as you would imagine it to be. Um, so then inside you just got the dust cloth and then that's what the inside of the box looks like. So this is the dust bag that it comes in, it just says Louis Vuitton, very fancy and suave. And then inside we have the Kirigami pouch. <laughs> so this is the large one. And then you get the medium one, which is inside here. And then you get the small one, which has this little, this little coated fabric warning inside. These are so cute, like so cute. So there's this mini tiny one to start off with. This says it was like a coin purse. Uh, so it holds like cards, um, coins, like small things. Um, and it's just got this burgundy kind of colour inside, it's really soft. Um, yeah, it looks like this. Love it already. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is if anything falls out, but we'll see. But yeah, this is the smallest pouchette or pouchette. Someone tell me how to say it, please. <laughs> and then you have the medium one. This says that it can hold like a passport or anything. Uh, so yeah, this is just what the medium one looks like. It's actually smaller than what I thought it was going to be. Um, but you could still use this as a bag. One thing I do want to know, can I fit my phone in here? Probably not. This is the medium one and it comes with a red leather inside. Uh, right, let's see. So my phone, nah, not a chance. So this is my phone. My phone's the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And you can't fit it in there. I think you could probably fit like a smaller iPhone in there, but not mine. So yeah, it's just this gorgeous little medium size pouch. And then onto the big one. This is the largest of the lot. This is says it could hold an iPad mini. Um, so this could definitely hold my phone. Uh, it just looks like this. It's gorgeous. I'll do a close up of all of these so you can see. But uh, yeah, it's just one piece of fabric as well. So the fabric is reversed on the back, like it's upside down. Uh, and then this is just a pale baby pink inside here. And obviously it says 
Louis Vuitton made in Paris, made in France, sorry, Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Uh, and then yeah, it's just there, it's got, it's got a code right down the bottom of the uh, bag, which I would presume is the serial number. So yes, my phone will fit in here very well. So this will be like the optimal clutch bag. You can also like get converters for this to turn it into a bag, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I want to get a chain and a bit of felt and just make an inlining and then so I can have it as a bag as well. But yes, this smells amazing. It smells like clean leather. So yeah, these are the three bags. Okay, so going on to what would fit in the bags. And I just had a little play around. The noise outside was terrible. So I had a little play around right there. Um, you can fit so much in them. Like, so in the smallest one, obviously this is just like for cards. So I've got three cards here, um, which would simulate a credit card, an ID, and like, I don't know, a student card or something. So you fit all of those in there quite nicely. This is literally the perfect size for cards. A um, couple of coins, so I've got like a couple of pounds, a couple of 50 keys, so that ooh, fits safe and soundly in there. And I mean, there's still quite a lot of room in there, so I want to know whether you can probably put, I think this is a bit like too much, but I've got a MAC lipstick there. And I mean, you can close it over and it will fit inside, so a lipstick will fit in there as well. Um, it's a little bit more bulgy than what I'd like it to be, so I'd probably just just leave it in there with coins. And I mean, obviously, you can put some notes in there as well and some cards. I don't usually tend to carry coins, but um, yeah, I think that's quite good for cards and notes. And I mean, that's it. Yeah, you can fit a lipstick in there, so it's they're very spacious. And then going on to the medium size one. So this says it's for like a passport, and I mean, it would definitely fit a passport in here. Um, but for show... Got a couple of sanitary pads here. They fit in there nicely. Um, got some my house keys here. Because I don't think an actual car key would fit in here, but I got my house keys, which can fit nicely down the side. Got a full size liquid lipstick. This is just a Kylie Cosmetics one for reference. That fits in down the bottom. And then you've got your card purse full of cards and coins. And again, that fits nicely in there. So then that's that one filled up. So do you see what I mean by you could fit quite a lot in there. Um, as I said, my phone won't fit in there, but I think a smaller phone would. So maybe the normal Pro would fit in there. Don't hold me to it though, because I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's quite a lot in there as well. So then moving on to the even bigger one. Got a phone, first of all, that can fit in there nicely. Again, some sanitary products. And then I've got my full set of car keys, and I mean, I've got quite a bulky set of car keys, so I've got like a, a moose, not a moose, a cow, and I've got my car key and like my house keys in that. So it is quite a bulky set of car keys, and that fits in there well. So that's now in there. And then we've got, so I quite like the Fenty Gloss Bomb, so this is full size. And that just slides in there. Got some headphones. But these are just plain Apple headphones. We've got the cards holder. And then, I mean, if you really wanted to go overkill, you could put, like, another lipstick and then a liquid lipstick in there. And all of that fits in. I mean, that's literally cleared out my entire lot of stuff that I had here. So you can fit so much in this. Um, I'm really impressed with how much you can fit in. As I said, I just wish I could fit my phone into the medium one. But I mean, this is literally everything I'd ever need and more to go out. So this fits everything in nicely. And as I said, I want to get a chain uh, that I can put in to use this as a bag. Because I think it would make a really cute bag. So that is everything guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, I'm really impressed with the quality, I mean it's Louis Vuitton, uh, you would expect this kind of quality for the price, I mean these were £460, but I think it's actually a great deal considering you get 
three things and you, as you can see you can fit so much into them i think they're really versatile and yeah i think it's actually a really good deal i mean obviously it's still expensive they are luxury items but yeah i'm really impressed with them uh so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video guys make sure to give it a big thumbs up drop me a comment down below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye guys out couchette honestly issues i'm a brainless english person who can't say foreign words noises kimmy gary <laughs> i'm gonna kill someone this is the third time i've tried to do this oh and the noise starts again fun wrong way <laughs> my unboxing i'm really sorry for the noise half birth oh my god butchered it sorry try this again shall we oh no okay then